a school bus filled with students in the next moment. Only the girl stooping to pick up a pen escaped. She stood up, unaware of what had happened. The bus came to a slow halt. Then a gust of wind blew in. Annie quickly crouched down. Only a few strands of hair were sheared off. The roadside poles snapped in succession. The girl got off the bus in shock. She started to run frantically. Many bodies scattered along the road. She quickened her pace. Four classmates appeared ahead. As she ran, she urged them to lie down. Annie didn't have time to explain. She tackled one classmate to the ground. The girl was terrified. Just then, several students on bicycles passed by. The girl quickly got up to intercept. But as she stood up, the horrifying event happened again. Annie continued to run. She ran through the woods and arrived at a riverside. There were many bodies lying here. She found a clean piece of clothing to change into. She washed her face, then headed towards the direction of the school. By this time, she was numb. Suddenly, a group of students appeared ahead. They were the classmates who had just died. The dead classmates have come back to life. Annie was puzzled by the situation. A gust of wind swept through. Annie quickly crouched down in alarm. Yet, to her relief, nothing terrifying unfolded. They all gathered in the classroom once more. Annie's nerves settled slightly, but strange occurrences loomed ahead. On the classroom floor, an unexpected sight greeted the girl a pillow. She felt a profound sense of unease. Suddenly, only only Annie remained. Two classmates dashed over, pulling Annie away to escape. They raced out of the school building, all the way to the street. Terrifying event unfolded once more. Annie narrowly escaped death. A strange wind blew again, prompting Annie to sprint back. She dared not stop until she reached the police station, eager to recount the bizarre occurrences. However, upon glancing into a mirror, she saw herself transformed into a stranger. And the police said it's her wedding day. She promptly escorted her to the wedding venue, where her recently deceased friend awaited. In a moment alone, her friend revealed the truth Noni of it was real. Suddenly, several people entered, and her friend began a slaughter. Annie was handed a bow for self-defense, and she was ushered into the hall. Astonishingly, the groom lay inside a coffin. The coffin opened, then revealing a pig-headed figure. Terrified, Annie thrust the bottle into the pig's neck before fleeing onto the street, where she found herself once again with a different appearance in the mirror. At that moment, someone nearby called her to join a competition. Annie followed them and started to run. They arrived at the competition venue, surrounded by a crowd of spectators. She began to run. Suddenly, a pig-headed figure appeared behind the team. She changed her route. Annie arrived at a cave. A classmate appeared, leading her to a eerie place. The girl suddenly attacked Annie. At that moment, Annie's best friend appeared. She rescued Annie and made her recall her original self. In the next moment, Annie reverted to herself. Then her friend reached out her arms and asked her to dismantle the two strings, saying they were in a virtual world, controlled by someone, and her body was the way out. Annie eventually accepted everything. She started pulling the strings. Finally, her friend was split in half. Annie followed the string through a door. She arrived at a cave. Inside Saturday, an old man playing a game. And the game scenes were everything she had just experienced. The old man was the manipulator of it all. Then Annie picked up the cane and ended her own life. 